Hi guys, it's Miss Strawberry here today with a video for Friday Fine Arts. Now, today I'm going to be teaching you guys something a little different. It is not music, but it is something you can eat. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make guacamole. The main ingredient that you will need to make guacamole is avocados. This is an avocado. Now, some people think avocado is a vegetable, but it is a fruit. It is its origin is from Mexico and it's a fruit because it has a seed in it and so anything that has a seed in it is a fruit if it does not have seeds it's a vegetable that is a fun fact for you guys so I'm just going to show you guys the ingredients that you need to make guacamole homemade and we're going to get started so here we go set everything aside I have my fork because I'm going to have to smash the guacamole or the avocados into guacamole. That's what makes it guacamole. I have a knife because I have to cut open the avocado. This is a guacamole seasoning pack. This is just easier to use versus making your own seasoning, um, but it's very good. I have cilantro, fresh cilantro, some limes, and a pico de gallo mix. This normally would be tomatoes, onions, cilantro, and you can use those ingredients separately, but it's easier to just use a pico de gallo mix. And you're gonna put all that into a bowl. And then this right here are my tortilla chips. I like spicy food, so I got them mildly hot, but I can't wait to show you guys how to make guacamole. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is cut open your avocado. So avocados, normally produce items have a sticker on them. So you're gonna wanna take the sticker off. I'm just taking, using my knife to take the sticker off. But you're gonna wanna cut open your avocado. And you're just gonna start at the top and make your way all the way around until it's open. So I've got my avocado cut and this is how the inside of an avocado looks. That is the seed. And this is the side without the seed. And in order to get the seed out, you're just gonna wanna hit the seed with a knife, get it in there, or you can peel it around and pull it out. This is easier for me. My mom's a pro at this. She can just hit it with the knife. This is an avocado seed, just so you guys can see. Is that cool? It's slippery. You're gonna to wanna to take the seeds out of your avocados and we're gonna scoop the avocados out and put them in a bowl. So I've scooped two of the avocados into the bowl. You're just gonna to wanna to take your spoon and put it on the outer part of the avocado. And you're just gonna go around and you're gonna scoop it out. Very simple, very easy. Can get a little messy if you're not careful. But this is the very thing to do. Very easy thing to do. And all my avocados are in the bowl. So next, we're gonna take our fork and we're gonna mash up our avocado. Now this part is kind of important because this is going to determine the consistency of your guacamole. I personally like my guacamole chunky, so I don't do too much mashing. I do enough though to where it won't be in its original form. I don't wanna do too much because I'm gonna add juice and tomatoes, which are watery, and I don't want it to be too thin. So I leave it chunky because all of that juice and liquid is going to cause the guacamole to thin out. So I don't want it super thin. So you're gonna just mush it together to your desired consistency. So I'm done mashing mine, and it looks like this. It's pretty 
chunky, but it's obviously not super thin. I can still see the chunks in it. So that's how I like mine. So next, we're gonna just put some mild guacamole seasoning in it. So I didn't need, I used two ripe tomatoes. So it tells you on the back that, I mean avocados, I'm sorry, I said tomatoes, avocados. So you're gonna want to use about two cups of this seasoning. But you can also just season to your desired taste, which is what I do. And it smells really good. So I'm just sprinkling it in there. And I'm just going to mix it thoroughly. It shows up white. I don't know if you can see. I should put a little more in there. It shows up white. So you're just going to want to mix it thoroughly. I apologize. I realized I said two cups of that seasoning. You don't want to put two cups of that seasoning in it. You want to put about maybe half a cup or one third of a cup somewhere in between that one third one fourth or half a cup um i have seasoned it to my desired taste so next i'm going to go in with the pico de gallo which has the onions the cilantro the tomatoes the bell peppers and put it in my guacamole it's just easier for me to buy it already made versus making it on my own so, yeah. It's a little tricky. So I've gotten it open. It smells very fresh. It's very fresh. I can smell the onions and the peppers, the tomatoes, the cilantro. Mm. And I'm just gonna take a spoonful of this. Well, I'm gonna mix it together first. Just stir it around a little more. Get some of those juices from the bottom. Just stirring it. I'm gonna put it a spoonful in my guacamole. And the cool thing about guacamole is everything you do is to your desired taste. So I'm probably gonna put two spoonfuls of this just because I only have two avocados. So I don't need too much. And I'm going to just Mix that in there. Mm, it smells yummy. My family is probably gonna eat this. My mom is a big fan of Mexican food, so she loves anything from guacamole to chips and salsa to tacos, burritos. I'm gonna put another spoonful just because it's not enough for me. gonna mix it in <laughs> so this is how it's looking so far and the cool thing too is it's still gonna have that chunky consistency because of the tomatoes and the onions and the peppers and the peppers are gonna give it that crunch so next we're just gonna come in with our lime and you're gonna wanna roll your lime. My fridge is so loud. So you're just gonna ro wanna roll your lime just so you can get some of the juices. This helps the juice squeeze out better. And I love limey guacamole. So I'm probably gonna use two limes, but we will see. You're just gonna cut it in half. And you're just gonna squeeze it into your bowl of guacamole. Mmm, smells so good. So I actually think that it's a lot of juice coming out of here. One line, half of one line may be enough. These were really juicy. And you're just going to mix it in there. Now this, it's what's going to give it its liquidy consistency. Just 
mix it in there. You can taste it if you want. I'm gonna taste it. It's not limey enough for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the other half of the lime. It's a lot of juice. You wanna make sure you're getting all the juice out. Fun fact, when I was a little kid, I used to like to actually eat limes and lemons. I still do. Mm. Very limey. I'm just gonna stir it. As I am stirring it, the consistency is a little more liquidy but it still has those chunks that I like. Boom. This is the second to last step. I'm going to go in, get a pinch of cilantro, for cilantro, just sprinkle it in there. I'll do two pinches. Cilantro makes food taste so much better and it gives it so much flavor. I'm just gonna stir that in there. And the last step I'm going to do, my seasoning cabinet is right here, is I'm going to use some sea salt. And I'm just going to top it off with some sea salt. It's going to give it the, that perfect flavor that you're looking for in guacamole. Stir that through. You want to taste it to see if you like it. If you don't, then you want to add more salt. I like stuff flavorful, so. Mmm, that's good. It's really good. And that is how you make guacamole. So the final thing that we have to do now, of course, is taste it. So I'm gonna open my chips and give you guys a taste and we'll go from there. So I'm definitely at a different angle. Just so you guys can see me, taste it. Oh my chips. Open them. I'm gonna taste them because I like tortilla chips by themselves. They are definitely Homemade tortilla chips. Your crunch is way louder. Alrighty. Let's taste this. Go pretty good. My guacamole. That's a lot. Okay. My guac. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm excited. Mm. That is some good guacamole. That's really good, child. That is really good. That slaps. So that is how you make guacamole from avocados which is if you remember a fruit i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys go home and make some guacamole all the ingredients i used can be found at your local pick and save walmart or whitman's i use whitman's because it's right by my house but you can find these ingredients from those three stores except for the chips those are from whitman's this guacamole is great Hope you guys try it, tell me about it, and enjoy it. Until then, this is Miss Strawberry, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.